Um, today's Friday the 22nd of March and I'm feeling so tired. Um, today's not, well not today, this week's not been a good week because basically um, ARGC put me on the provisional list for an IVIG on Monday. Um, I can't remember what IVIG stands for but I don't know if I've told you before but they put um, like, I don't even know where it is, plasma or things like antibody things <laughs> into your bloodstream to um, help reduce your natural killer cells because supposedly if your natural killer cells are too high um, your cytokines are too high then they could then attack your baby because they think that it's a foreign body so they said that I had to go in for bloods on Monday morning and then I was down for provisional a provisional IVIG now when you go in for when you have two things in one day you're supposed to stay within 30 minutes of there but the fact is there's nothing to do around there um, and I don't know what they expect me to be doing um, just sitting down in a waiting room for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours because both Monday and Tuesday because I didn't have it on Monday in the end they told me I was on the provisional list again on Wednesday both Monday and Tuesday they didn't call until later in the day um, and they said that I didn't need to come in and when I say late in the day I'm talking like 1.30 um, or after sorry 1.30 um, bearing in mind that I go and get my bloods done between 7.30 and 8 o'clock in the morning so usually by 8 o'clock I'm done so they want me to hang around for hours um, and when it's like that I can't go back to work because if they call I need to get down there um, so I did go to my mother-in-law's and technically it should take about 45 minutes from her house um, and I was trying to do like school work and plan lessons but I managed to write like my school reports but I couldn't really concentrate to like plan proper lessons and I was just so tired waking up at stupid o'clock to get down to Wimpole Street um, if you live in London, that's Harley Street. Um, I get off at Regent's Regent's Park for like London Zoo. So yeah, and then so I had to wake up at stupid o'clock on Tuesday. Um, then they said I needed bloods on Wednesday, and they said I definitely have the IVIG on Wednesday. So again, stupid o'clock on Wednesday. Um, and then I had to call them again because they didn't call me and then I was like okay we'll call you back call me back and they were like yeah um, you're going to have your IVIGs how long is it going to take you to get here, here so I was like 45 minutes so I think it took actually an hour because I was cheeky and I went to Subway because I was hungry um, so I got there and they were like oh well we're starting your IVIG late because we didn't realise that you were going to be so far away and I was like excuse me and it's not like they were saying it, they were saying it like they were uppity. I was thinking, I've been waiting around for two days for you to call me and you're telling me that I'm like a bit late. Um, but they did it and in the end, I didn't get out of that place until seven o'clock. Um, it took like three hours or just over three hours for them to do the IVIG. Um, because basically it's literally like an IV so they've got like the saline, is it saline solution? Anyway they have that and they've got this other little bottle and the stuff's just pumping into your arm and you just got to sit there. So did that um, and then they said I had to come back for bloods again on Thursday. And by the time I got out of there on Wednesday obviously I didn't get home until after 8 o'clock I had no 
lessons planned for the next day nothing and I was exhausted like I was so tired I just wanted to cry I just literally wanted to just crawl under a rock and disappear um, so I told work that I wasn't coming in so I um, went for the bloods on Thursday came back and my intention was to just sleep and probably wake up at maybe about four o'clock or something to do my lessons for the Friday um, but and that was yesterday yesterday we had deadlines for reports and putting data in for our for my students um, and it needed to be done before the end of the school day so I woke up at like I think two o'clock bearing in mind I didn't actually go to sleep till probably like 11 because when I come in I have something to eat and everything so I slept for a bit done that then I planned my lessons but I'm so so tired um, okay so uh, uh, yeah and then I've got tomorrow I've got to go for bloods again so in terms of this bloods my they, they're checking if my HCG <laughs> is rising your HCG level um, is the is the hormone that's being released by the, the baby by the fact that you're pregnant I believe um, and um, it's supposed to increase by 60% every 48 hours mine's been going up so that's cool um, but I'm having to take um, progesterone um, through an injection in my bum every night and through pessaries that I have to put up my bum every morning and every evening um, and then I've got another inject I'm still on Clexane I'm having to take that every morning and every evening and a steroid in the afternoon and it just makes me bloated and fat and I'm, I'm like I'm, I look pregnant already and I was five weeks yesterday so I'm five weeks one day today my HCG level yesterday was it was over 5,800 anyway um, and I think the average for week 5 is 4,000 and something so that's cool I'm really hoping that there are two babies and I'm really hoping that I get a scan next week they haven't mentioned anything about a scan I just want to hear two heartbeats I really 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 want twins um, It's quite therapeutic doing these videos because I haven't really got anyone to talk to and I'm talking to myself but at least I'm airing stuff that's on my mind and I'm really scared at the moment because last time I had a miscarriage at six weeks um, and every day <coughs> I just see every day as a a blessing but I'm still just so scared I don't want to I don't want to lose the pregnancy and I don't think that I'm actually ever gonna stop worrying until the baby or babies are in my arms or until I know that I've got a proper I don't know that that they that they're developing properly, um, and also at the moment it's like I can't really tell anyone that I'm pregnant and I'm hiding it and stuff like that, and I just want to be comfortable and happy about it. Um, and I I haven't been able to really be happy about it yet. Um, I haven't been able to be excited about the fact that I'm pregnant apart from that one day when she said yeah you're pregnant I'm like yes oh my god but since then it's like okay I'm pregnant 
next day am I still pregnant <laughs> am I still pregnant am I still pregnant um, I have started like rubbing my tummy and talking to them in the hope that they'll listen and obviously I'm still saying my prayers um, let me just show you <coughs> what's going on with my um, tummy so um, I need to add a little bit more okay that's better so uh, let me just lift up this card again I don't want to take it off my house is kind of cold so I don't actually right that's me holding it in and that's where my belly is there Um, yeah, that's me holding it in and that's it out. So I already look like, like three months pregnant and my ass is just, it's humongous. It is really humongous. Both my mum and a colleague at work have said that I'm carrying, <laughs> carrying it in my bum. <laughs> um, I had to go out and buy um, some new uh, clothes and I also bought, it's upstairs, I also bought um, a baby, no, what is it called? I can't remember what it's called. A belly belt? A belly belt. I think it's called a belly belt. Basically, it's um, like a fastener on elastic and it's got a button or it's got hooks and you can put it on your trousers and then it has... Um, like a thing that you can cover and stuff down your trousers for you can't do your trousers up because I, I haven't been able to do my trousers up since just before egg collection um yeah I haven't my stomach has just been swollen that just those last few days of taking um the the the, the, the drugs before egg collection and then I haven't been able to do up my my trousers since um, and the bloat is just ridiculous every time I eat. When I wake up in the morning, it doesn't look too bad, but I still can't do up my trousers. And obviously I'm eating more, um, not really exercising because I'm scared. I know you can exercise when you're pregnant, um, but I'm, I am just really, really scared. Um, so my thighs are a bit bigger, so my trousers are tight. And obviously I've got a fat ass. Um, but that's it. I'm having to drink two liters of water a day, so I still it's now half six, and I need to get through this other liter before the end of the night. And that's really annoying because then I'm peeing even more. Um, although I don't think I have frequent urination. The only reason why I have frequent urination is because I'm being made to drink two liters of water a day. I'm having, and I'm supposed to drink a pint of, uh, no, a litre of milk a day. Um, to be honest, I'm not really getting through that. That's not really good, but I'm trying to make sure that I do have protein in my diet. Um, but yeah, that's it. So today I'm five weeks, one day. Here's hoping that tomorrow my HCG is in the tens of thousands because yeah it might be in the tens of thousands because yesterday it was 5,000 over 5,800 and the day before that it was just over 5,000 so if it if it's doubled then it should be maybe nine might, it might be 9,000, 10,000. Uh, I think that's it.